Hey, you said you wanted to see me climbing a mountain with these, right? Yeah! Yeah. This is an underground mountain. That's not a mountain. What? <laughs> That's- a mountain is up. This is super down. I'm just in a building, that's all. Wah. <laughs> Cry some more. <laughs> now I have to deactivate these water valves for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what's happening in this game, but it's fun. Go up. <laughs> I like I like how you can slice them up into the air. Yeah. Get some jumbo going. I can't get that yet. Have you played the other Strider games? No. Has this made you want to? No. <laughs> no? You feel like it's it's peaked and we'll be downhill from here? Oh no, not at all. It's just, I'm not good at classic games really. No? No. Well, not it, usually. Well you were born in nineteen ninety six, so you don't have that's that history. True. That's true. <laughs> What's that, Junior? <laughs> what is that? Uh, a Severn Z. That is... A sewer crab. It's a sewer crab. That is a Halo monster. Oh my god, it does look like a Halo monster. It was gonna do a spin attack. Yeah, screw that. <laughs> what does it look like when it hits you? I though? don't care! <laughs> Find out! Spits ass at me. They're... Those things are dicks. I'm not letting them attack People me. People want to know. This is almost the part I was up to when we did our tests. <laughs> oh yeah. We made a lot of progress. <laughs> oh look at all the ecto cooler. Yeah. Why are those guys it. glowing? I was like in rage mode. If you do really good you get that. So why were you Oh you were doing good, okay. <laughs> I, I I didn't realize. I understood the joke before you made it. <laughs> It's good. No, That's that. what we call synergy. <laughs> <clears throat> Can you swim down there? No, that's that's Ecto Cooler. It's bad. Ecto Cooler's so good though. I know Ecto Cooler is good, but in this game, bad. I don't. I don't want to live in this world. <laughs> well, no one wants to live in this world. That's why I'm fixing it. I'm cleansing the world of the uncleans. God. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it! You hear what you're making me say now? <laughs> Look how cool it is when you get hit by that. It's, it's not cool at all. It's just it's like in Colonial impressive. Marines. They're oh all, god. They're all over the ceiling spitting stuff at you. Where am I supposed to be going? <clears throat> I need to deactivate the primary water valve. I guess over Where is the water valve? No, is there, there a thing? There's three red things right there, the water valve. So go to them. Go but down and to the left. I can't just go to them and deactivate them. There are switches somewhere that I have to oh, deactivate. Oh god. That's just a save switch. But, I mean, no, no, it's a checkpoint. Where's the bathroom? They're probably by the bathroom. I think that's where I... Oh, I guess... I to... Okay, that's where <laughs> I have to go. That's where I have to go. If you take a left by the cafeteria... I love the idea of just propelling yourself like a rocket straight down at nothing yeah. and seeing what happens. <laughs> just standing in front of the guy, just swinging my sword back. Just flexing at him. Yeah. Hey, look at this, look at me. He's so impressed he can't do anything. Ah, <laughs> oh, right, that's, one that's a valve. That's a primary valve of I've seen one. <laughs> Alright, now that door's open. That's why I have to do that. Yeah, look, they're they're not really bellboys, I guess. They look like they a were butlers, you said. Yeah, they're not bellboys. Yeah, I suppose that's true. What would you rather be, a bellboy or a butler? <laughs> Am I like, uh, what kind of butler am I? Am I like Alfred from, uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Or am I like, 
You mean uh, Jeffrey? Jeffrey! You keep doing that. Do I? That's the second time you brought him up and called him Alfred. <laughs> really? Yeah. Who am I thinking of? You're thinking of Alfred from Batman. <laughs> oh, or am I like Alfred from Batman? <laughs> God. So, which butler I don't know, am I? You just, you, you're not a specific butler. You'd just be like a butler who lives in a rich person's house and takes care of them and stuff. And does their cleaning and whatever. I feel what like kind of bellboy would I be? One I mean, at a hotel. What hotel? What what the hell? Like this, the Hilton or These are like, very general questions. Like the Hilton or like Red Um Like Motel 6. Do they have bellboys there? I assume so. It's like it's a very nice place. They don't start making accusations. They leave the light on for you! Yeah, because they don't have bellboys that turn them on and off. <laughs> God. Well, there goes our sponsors. <laughs> Jesus. I guess I'd rather be a, bug a butler. Okay. So I'm like, you know, bellboy can probably just, like, blow off more stuff. But a butler, you get to live in a mansion. Yeah. What is that? Oh. It's a spinning lawnmower blade of death. Is that for like, that's for like, are you in the, you're in like the sewer system now? Yes. So that's like for like waste disposal. Make yeah. sure nothing gets clogged, I guess. This is how Kazakh sewer system works. You know what? It, it works. <laughs> it is a good and efficient, look, no dead ninja bodies are getting caught up in everything. That's true. You know what? That's true. You know what our sewer has? Ninja bodies getting clogged and everything. Yeah. That's probably true. There should better be a toilet flush sound effect right there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever played this game not on mute, so I don't know. What is that? That's, um... Pilot, I think? It's it's my little robot buddy. You have Navi? No. Is he gonna tell you to listen? No. And to watch Na out? No! Navi is a little fairy annoying awful person. Can I do anything with this? I guess not. It looks just like those um those pixel guys from Paper Mario. Yes. Oh man, we should do an LP of Paper Mario. Is that oh the no. one for the Wii? Is that the one where all the combat is on a stage? Yes, but I mean the uh the Paper Mario for the Wii. I did the eight, so that's not the one where the combat's on the stage. No, no, no. It's, okay. it's like I'm thinking. Of, I forget what it's called. Thousand Year Door. That's a. I don't think that's the right one. There's Paper Mario, Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, and, and then Super the Paper Mario. Mario. Is it? I think so. I'm, maybe it is Thousand Year Door. Mm -hmm. then. Maybe it's Super. I don't know. The one for the Wii was fun. It was long though. Yeah. Who cares? It was good. Yeah. Is that an RPG? Uh, I don't know. I think it's kind of like Zelda. It's like an action adventure game, but people call it an RPG, even though it's not. Hey, what's act what's the difference between an action adventure game and a character action game? Um, a character action game is like everything about it makes you just root for the character. And there's so much exciting in it. This is like I consider this a character action game in a way, hmm. because it's just it's just action nonstop, and it's just exciting, and it's just so much fun. Okay. An action adventure game is like Zelda, where it's more about adventure. You know what I mean? Okay. Everything feels epic in scale, and uh, character action is more focused on action. And you know, characterization, stuff like that. So if Killer is dead Like Killer is dead is character action. Is it? Yes. Okay. Because it's like you have moments where it's like, oh my god, I can't believe that happened and like you have to it's like you care about the characters and it's like <laughs> is David and Mondo the same person and stuff like that happen. Well but you know? like it's it's more 
it gave us confusing stuff to think about and react to. Yeah. More than, like, I don't, I don't know. But there okay. were still moments, like, we were just running around with our sword, just slicing down people, and it was just, like, so exciting, and, like, the moments where we would become that, like, wire form and slash people apart, mm. like, that was just so exciting, you know what I mean? Okay. So if it's super exciting, has a high focus on combat, but also has, goes to a lot of trouble to make you care about the character. Yes. Then it's a character action game. That's what I believe, yeah. Okay. This is one of those things where there's no actual definition, there's, is there? There's really no set definition, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Kind of like how a Nuzlocke Pokemon run can have whatever rules you feel like. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Nice. Wow, every single one <laughs> no, of those hit you. Shut up, you didn't every, need to point it out. Every single bullet laser You did hit not you. need to point that out. Like, you fell in the perfect arc <laughs> that every single one hit you square that in really the face. That a really good shot. Square in the face, in your big square face. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's cool he has a sword where the handle is like coming off of the side and he doesn't hold it like a traditional sword. Yeah. This game is mostly though like a a Metroidvania. What does that mean? I've heard that one all the time yeah. and I don't know what like classic Classic Metroid games and classic Castlevania games were 2D side-scrolling games like this. Yes. And you would do stuff like find a door that you can't open right now or like it's a different color. You would have to like get new abilities and You have to track. find a new item and then come back and open that door. Like how I... <coughs> like I, I came across the door... Like before I said like I need a shuriken to open that door. Yeah. So stuff like that. That's called metroidvania okay so uh, so as long as there's like so it's as long as it's a game that incorporates that kind of progression like that kind of progression and it's a, uh, and it's i think it has to be a 2d side scrolling game like this is does it i think so i don't know i don't know for sure but okay. usually they're 2d side scrolling sure. i heard the the like a little like a months ago the guy who invented Castlevania or something said um, he just for the first time heard the term Metroidvania. Yeah, he called them like 2D action adventure games or something like that. He's like, I love the fact that you would associate my work with Metroid. That's awesome. Yeah. But really, it's more of a Zeldavania. <laughs> yeah, he was trying to uh, make a Zelda game. Mm -hmm. Nice. I thought that's so cool. Like, he was doing a, um, what do you call it? Like, he had a panel at a con somewhere. Yeah. And it was called, like, How to Make a Metroidvania. And he's like, I just learned this word. You kids and your slang. <laughs> oh. That was close. I'm pretty sure I can die if I fall in there. <laughs> That's one of those areas. Can ya? What's it look like, though? Oh, losing health, losing health. So yeah, I just lose health though. You want me to die? No. Okay. Well. Why does that bring you <laughs> joy? I mean, the fact they just stood there in lava makes me think, okay, cyborg man. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. That's the way I was came from. Maybe you have to go down. It's like that stupid four swords level where you have to actually sink through the bad stuff. Really? Yeah, there's a part in four swords where um, you're in like this pit and there's no way out and the, the quicksand keeps trying to take you. And I got stuck there for like an hour. And then like I just gave up and let it take me and it, it screen pans down through sand and then you just fall out into the rest of the level. Oh, that's dumb. That's really dumb. Right. Oh, does that mean I can run past that guy now? I hope I can run past that guy. See you later, fuckers. Oh, 
It's a win, sister. <laughs> it's breezy. <laughs> Oh, you idiot. <laughs> uh, he threw two bombs. I reflected one back at him. Oh, jackass. Nice. Speaking of Wind Sisters. Yeah. They gave Storm an ongoing series. Really? Yeah. Why? Why would they do that? <laughs> you know, like, she's like one of their most popular X-Men characters. She's never had an ongoing. She's had miniseries before, but she's never had her own ongoing. I didn't know she never had one. Nope. But I mean... Nothing has happened with her since she married Black Panther and then they got divorced, I think. And then... Yeah. So nothing's happened with her. It's they put weird. her They put her back into uh into Wolverine and the X-Men, so she's like teaching at the school. Oh yeah. But like she kissed Wolverine like a year ago. Yeah, I think that was when they they announced like they came out with like, okay, she's divorced now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm I just so I just feel nothing for that character. I know, and it doesn't help that it's Mohawk Storm. I I I got no problem with Mohawk Storm. Oh, I kind of like that design. I hate Mohawks in general. Oh, I had a Mohawk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so mean. Yeah. I'm sorry. You just went through this phase where you looked like a douche. <laughs> that was before I knew you. Yeah, and it reverberates through time <laughs> in, in each direction. <laughs> wow. I need a new ability. Do, do you have the water shurikens yet? Not yet. Yeah, I can't Did do you anything. ever finish turning off those things? No, I'm trying really hard, but this last one is a pain in the ass to get to. Yeah. Climbing stairs backwards now. <laughs> Get your friend Metroid and his friend Castlevania to help you. Do you think the main character in Castlevania's name is Castlevania? Yes. <laughs> I assumed it was a game star. I assume that's what that TV show Castle was a show about. It's like about the guy from Castlevania. Well, the main character in that is named Castle. Yeah. Oh god, those guys are assholes! Fun fact, when I played Smash Brothers Melee, that was the game that taught me, like, that Link's name wasn't Zelda, and... You didn't play a Zelda game before that? No. Wow, everything I thought I knew about you was wrong. I'm pretty sure... Well, no, I played Duck Hunt a few times, but I'm pretty sure that my... Uh, oh, no, no, no. And, um, like, I went to, like... When I was a kid, I went to a dentist's office that had, like, a Mario arcade machine. Other than that, Smash Brothers was, like, my big... Smash Brothers Melee was my big introduction to Nintendo. Wow. And like I learned that oh oh his name's not Zelda. Like that like that was the first time I saw Samus. Wow. And like like oh who's this from? Oh this is from Metroid? Oh this is weird. His name isn't Metroid, that's weird. His name isn't Metroid? Yeah, again, just look at the character, there's nothing telling me it's a girl. It yeah, I suppose. It's uh it hurt me, yeah, it hurt me. Supposed to do? Where am I supposed to be going? That direction. Okay, so I guess I guess there's stuff I can climb up over there. See, this is why Smash Brothers is important as yeah. an institution. That year I minored in Smash Brothers. <laughs> I did two things that year. That two years. <laughs> <laughs> I went to class and I played Smash Brothers. I had other revelations like, hey, Mario was a doctor? <laughs> Matt, remember that time we tried to count all of Mario's jobs? Yeah, but and you guys kept counting things. Like, if he wore a hat one day, <laughs> oh, he, he's a professional hat wearer. No, that wasn't true. He went to space. He's an astronaut. He's not an astronaut. He just, he, he was riding on a spaceship. That's like saying, oh, you're a professional driver because you drive a car. No, 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 no. Yeah. That's not it at all. Yeah. yeah. He had an entire game about exploring undiscovered planets. 
and living in space. He's that not That officially an... makes him an astronaut. No, no, no. Yes! It's not, yes, his yes. job is not an astronaut unless he, like, goes and gets astronaut training and becomes an astronaut. I'm pretty sure he's never had plumber training. Well, that's fine. He never plumbers. He never plums. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. Plums? Yeah, he, 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 he probably picks fresh plums more often than he works on people's toilets. But he's still a plumber! I guess. You know what? No, I want to see his degree. <laughs> I don't care if it's from, like, a community college or a website. I want to see his degree. I'm pretty sure in back in the day when, like, he first became a plumber, you didn't need a degree. <laughs> it was just like, you know what a toilet is? You're a plumber. <laughs> I mean, like, I've, I'll buy, like, okay, Dr. Mar, he's a doctor. Okay. I'll buy that he's, like... You'll buy it because there was that one time he wore a doctor's uniform. If he's at a point where he can, he can actually prescribe drugs to people, I'm going to, I will accept that he's a doctor. It's like he's an Olympic athlete because he, con he successfully competed in the Olympics a bunch of times. You know? Yeah. Right. There's been enough Mario Karts, I'll accept him as a race car driver. <laughs> or a stock car, or whatever car you want to call it. I don't know. I don't I don't know. know I'm pretty difference. sure you put up a bigger fuss about some of these. Well, you guys were naming some really bullshit ones, <laughs> though. You just don't like fun. I like fun. I like rainbows, remember? <laughs> Pro golfer. Pro golfer. He's a pro golfer. Pro tennis player. Yeah. Pro baseball player. Is there a baseball game? There's a baseball one probably. I don't know. <laughs> Ass. This is <laughs> annoying. Where are you trying to go? Up there. Nah, it's not gonna work. I gotta do it the right way. Oh, you've been trying to do it the wrong way. <laughs> no, I was trying to do it the right way. That didn't work. Then I tried doing it the wrong way. Nah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, oh, back down here! <laughs> what did you Crap. think would happen? I was hoping I would die. <laughs> but that doesn't happen! You're right. You fall down and you're fine. I should have known better. I gotta climb back up there. Jeez. Damn it! Damn it, damn it! No! <laughs> I wish you just got killed by Napalm. He's throwing it through the door. You said they couldn't do that. If the door closes, they can't. Oh. The door didn't close. I thought it was just a, uh, like they only exist in this one room kind of thing. Oh, no. <sighs> <sighs> this is going to be a climb. Yep. Sure is a climb. <laughs> So when you got your Wii U, did you still have to do that huge update right away? I got mine used, so oh, that's I did right, not that's need right. to do the update. If you're buying yours new, you will probably have to do that. Will I? Because it's been, it's been out for like a year, hasn't it? It's like, shouldn't, new, yeah. shouldn't a new model already be good to go? Except probably not. <laughs> I don't know. I always buy consoles either brand new or not at all. What changed with this one? Uh, just better price tag. I didn't think of that. <laughs> yeah. I uh, betrayed all of my values. My life is a lie. Jump through that and go to warp speed. I can't yet. Oh. <laughs> I can in a little bit though. Have you watched Space Dandy yet? Yeah, I watched quite a bit of it. Did you watch the one with the dog? Because you love dogs. Yes, I did. That one was... That was sad. That was very sad. <laughs> I can't go through this door yet. I need the power. That's one of those things where, like, they're like, was this dog the dog that they sent up in that first space yeah. thing from real life? Yeah. And then I'm like, I bet it was. The time frame wouldn't make sense. Then I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Because <laughs> at the end of the day with that show, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Just have fun. That was the episode where when they were on that planet at the end... In the background was the refrigerator filled with 
poison stuff from that episode of Cowboy Bebop. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Remember we were toys in the attic? Yeah, yeah. 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 I didn't look for it, I didn't know. Well, you didn't have to really look for it, it was just, uh... Cat or meow? Oh, wait, was that the refrigerator that yeah, he ate Yeah, that he was fighting with. Okay. And he ate something from? That was the poison lobster, yeah. Nice. Nice. Look at the other Winchesters in the background, it's like, we're just waiting. <laughs> Oh, you know he's gonna do something cool. <laughs> uh oh. And I'm gonna miss it. Wait. Oh, she tagged out. She tagged out for two. Me. Nope, no one tagged no. out. No one tagged out. Okay, she just called in North. Oh, she called in Nolan North for help. Is that that uncharted guy? Yeah. Is that a character or a voice actor? Voice actor. <laughs> All right. Oh, North tagged out. Why is she invulnerable to it? That sucks. So the green one just becomes like a little cyclone. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Also, queen themed. Makes sense. Yeah. North, you're bullshit. <laughs> is North the blue one? I forget. Oh, pink one. Pink one? Which one's the blue one? South? South. I like South. South's one of my favorite so far. I can't tell who the green one is. I missed it in the intro. We have a 50-50 shot, so let's just call her West. <laughs> <laughs> You're dying. Yes. So you know. She's fighting three bosses right now, so... You should call that giant phoenix thing. I did! <laughs> sorry, I'm did, sorry. Did it help? I don't know. <laughs> Alright. It's unclear what if it helped at all, really. In a game where you're a ninja, yeah. calming down a giant fiery ghost bird seems really out of place. Do you like it when ninjas have magic? It really depends on the context. Usually no, though. Yeah. I feel like I like it better when ninjas have magic than... East wind. She's east. Damn it. <laughs> I prefer ma them to have straight up magic than to have like the shit where it's like I have a like chi or whatever. Well, no, like like because uh, that's the same thing. Like, but like <laughs> like stuff with like okay, we're gonna I have like smoke bombs or I have sand with glass in it. They'll get in your eyes. Like oh yeah. Like, like actual ninja weapons seem to come down to like well that's fucking cheating but at least if they have magic powers i can kind of get down with it you know See, i don't mind ninja weapons sometimes i think i propose that to magic stop sliding into that giant fan <laughs> Like for me, I would just like to see a fight that t that relies on like skill to win. And if like if like what do you mean? Like no, what I mean is like like a lot of like traditional actual ninja tactics and weapons are come down to like scumbag tactics basically. Oh, I got. You. Where like let me let me like throw some ground up glass in my opponent's eyes and then kill them. I've or never like, seen a ninja do that. I gotta a, be it's honest. a thing. Like what like when they did that I forget what the show was called. It was like a Discovery Channel thing. Oh Deadliest have, Warrior? Yeah, and they would go down the list of all the weapons. That was one of them. Ground up glass? Yeah. It's fucked up. Yeah. Whereas like like if a ninja has magic or chi or whatever, then like I've always seen them like treat it like a physical weapon in their arsenal. Yeah. Which, like, okay, I can respect that more. Yeah, I, I suppose I agree there. Now call forth your giant griffin! I'm out of griffin power. Oh no, what about the phoenix? That's, I thought that's what we were talking about! Yeah. Oh, there he is! You were... I took out one of them. I took out two, now it's just south. The best one! I hope she wins. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, you're, we're supposed to be a team. <laughs> what? Let's wait for this cutscene to be over. Option A, 
Dipodal Saucer. What the fuck is that? Firing damaged projectiles and protecting from missile attacks. Do you have a spaceship now? Let's see what it is. Oh, it's you, this. What? Oh, it's this thing I've never used. What? What is it? Why does it do that? It just gives me access to new areas. Is it like... It, it looks like drones. I think it's like a shield, kind of. I've never. Why would ever you used never it? use a shield? You have a magic. Because look how long it lasts. You have magic shield robots. <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> Does it eat up your like magic meter or yeah. whatever? Yeah, and I'd rather just use the giant eagle bird, Griffin Phoenix. Yeah.